What aspect of kind of, I would say, a wild finish sticks out to you most? Of the finish? Yeah. Uh, I thought the two fouls at the end were bizarre. Bizarre fouls. Um, you know, I was watching the play when Wiggs got fouled. I guess they called a foul on Pirtle. Um, sh- I was shocked by that one, and then I was shocked by the, the one on the rebound. Um, I, I don't know how those calls can be made. Like, you, you, there has to be, to, to call fouls in, those, in that situation, uh, both of them, one that went for us, one that went against us, um, I don't understand. I, I don't understand how uh, we can decide the game based on plays that have nothing to do with the game. I mean, your players are supposed to decide the game, and Wiggs had the ball, and it's up to him to, you know, create a little space and get it out of traffic and get somebody a game-winning look. And and then on the last one, there's a scramble for the ball. I got everybody in the locker room after the game is telling me they have no idea why uh, Looney got called for the foul. They got tangled up. This is this is how every play goes. And uh, so, more than anything, the finish would, to me, it, I was shocked at the two foul calls. What are your thoughts on the way your team responded, you know, playing their first game without Steph? I, I love the way our team responded uh, when we uh, felt the pressure to respond. I didn't love the way we played in the first half without a sense of urgency. We have to understand, and I told the guys this at halftime and after the game, we have to understand we're undermanned. There's 12 games left, now Now 11 games left. We're looking at the playoffs. Um, we gotta have, there's got to be a sense of urgency. There's got to be a sense of uh, competitive fight that, that we take to the other team uh, from the very beginning of the game. And I did not see that until it was really late in the game. The guys were great in, the, in that fourth quarter, fighting like crazy. we got to fight like crazy from the start. What did you think of Draymond's ejection, of the, two, the two fouls that were called against him, and the way the team kind of responded to his departure? Yeah, it was uh, unfortunate. Obviously, we need Draymond desperately. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I was surprised by that. There wasn't, uh, he wasn't swearing. He wasn't getting personal. He just, I guess, um, um, Murad felt like Draymond didn't stop um, complaining, but Draymond has never stopped complaining his whole career. We know that. I mean, um, he's he's earned what he's done in this league. Um Draymond knows to, how to to walk that line. You know, once he gets that first one, he understands what it takes to get a second one. And he did not think he uh, he deserved it. But um, you know, he can't can't get kicked out um, of that game. He knows that we're we're shorthanded already. You guys were down six when he got kicked out, and you kind of came back though. What do you think of just what they did to make a game up yeah, the stretch? Yeah, we did a good job. You know, like I said, we when when we were sort of backed into a corner, we got a, did a good job fighting, but shouldn't have been backed into a corner in the first place. It, it felt like Otto really answered the call tonight. What are your thoughts on the way he played? Otto was great. Uh, he's one of the smartest players I've ever been around. Just uh, the way he uh, rebounds, the way he uh, anticipates plays before they happen. His weak side help is amazing. Uh, I thought Otto was uh, was brilliant tonight. His efforts, uh, unfortunately, didn't didn't lead to a win. But I thought he was uh, he played a fantastic game. What do you think of the Clay Jordan backcourt? Well, um, obviously, both guys are are explosive, and they you know they scored really well. Um, it was a kind of a strange game for Clay. It was it was up and down, but um, you know he made some big shots for us and got going from the three point line. And uh, and Jordan made a ton of plays, you know, down the stretch that uh, you know could have been the difference and uh, unfortunately we just couldn't close it out but Jordan and uh, Jordan was great and and, uh, and I thought Clay responded really well too